And now for our con job of the day, House Speaker John Boehner is portraying himself as a champion of religious values. But his actions speak a little louder than his words. Boehner gave a teary commencement address Saturday at Catholic University and told graduates to live according to the Catholic Church's teachings. For the right reasons, good things will happen. So there you have it. Humility, patience, and faith. Oh, come on, again with the crying. Okay, please stop crying. And by the way, a lot of Catholic leaders are not buying it. They don't think Boehner is doing such a great job upholding those values. As we first told you last week, more than 75 professors at Catholic colleges criticized Boehner's support for cuts to Medicare, Medicaid, and the nutrition program for women, infants, and children. They wrote a letter to Boehner saying, quote, your record in support of legislation to address the desperate needs of the poor is among the worst in Congress. It is your moral duty as a legislator to put the needs of the poor and the most vulnerable foremost in your considerations. Now this hypocrisy spreads across much of the Republican Party. GOP politicians are only too happy to talk about their faith when attacking abortion rights and gay rights. But for, any, for many social conservatives, their religious obligation to help the poor always seems to take a back seat to tax cuts and helping out big business. Remember, Jesus never mentioned gay people or abortion. Let me repeat that, never. But he did talk about helping the poor endlessly. He said it was harder for a rich man to get into heaven than for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle. Now, when's the last time you heard that from a Republican? That would really make them cry. Now, the GOP loves to talk about how religious they are, but do they ever back it up with action, or do they just like to use the Bible as a political tool? Either way, their clear pattern of cherry-picking religious values is our con job of the day.